Welcome, friend, to a message from Covenant Family Chapel, the church where you can come just as you are. Hello, friend. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome once again to our help comes from the Lord. Today, we just want to look at the subject, uh, isn't it time? It is time for you to make some things happen. In the Bible book of Ruth, chapter 3 and verse 1, it was Naomi who had actually told Ruth, that it was time for her to get some things uh, to take place on her behalf. Why? Because in the previous verses, uh, we are told that Ruth had many things that was handed over to her. She gleaned in the field of boars, and anytime she went into those fields, we are told that things were just given to her. They left many things, handfuls for her. But now it has come to a point where Naomi senses that the life of handfuls had to be over, and she had to own the field. This is what I'm trying to get you to understand, that you have lived on surplus, you have lived on, on little on scraps and little pieces here and there. But the time has come for you, as a child of God, as one who has been created by Almighty God, to actually own the field. And so Ruth puts it, uh, Naomi puts it this way, isn't it time for you to own the field? So she orchestrates and helps Ruth to be able to do so. How did she do it? You would need somebody who senses the timing that things ought to change in your life. This is where I come in into your own life to remind you that the season where things are about to change is now. And that you need to leave the life of handfuls and begin to leave, look at possessing things on your own. My encouragement to you today is to strengthen you to move off that life. Don't get used to, don't get accustomed to the old life of handfuls because it sounds like it's all good. But then there are bigger things I heard of you that God wants you to have. So I encourage you once again that as I give you this coaching today, the time has come for you to move on to bigger things. The scripture says Ruth moved out. And when she moved out, she saw the hand of God. All God wants you to do is to take one step. Israel as a nation wanted to stay in Egypt for so long and never move on. God told them the land of Egypt was a place where they were not going to have anything. In the wilderness, it was going to be a place where they will have enough for the day. But then he was going to take them to the promised land where they were going to have more than enough. Because of the more than enough that God wants to give you, I urge you to begin to focus on the many things that God would want to do in your life. He wants to give you more than enough, not barely making it. Therefore, it is time for you, like Ruth, to move away from handfuls into possessing your own boys because it is Boaz that controls the whole 